Hello people of the internet, Simon here again with another e-com secret. This time it's a Google Ads and Shopify secret and it's how to correctly add the conversion tracking for Google Ads into Shopify and how to eliminate those pesky double conversions. Okay, so this video is for adding the conversion trackings for Google Ads into Shopify. It's for anyone that hasn't done this already, but there's also a little tip here of how to stop those double conversions. You may have this symptom in your ads where every time you make a sale, you're getting the double amount from that sale or even triple or even more sometimes. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first of all, what we'll need to do in the Google Ads is go up to the Tools section. And in the Tools section, we go to Conversions. And we'll make a new conversion. This is just an old account. As you can see, there's no ads running. We're gonna use website for our kind of conversion that we want to track. And I'm just gonna call this purchase. The category we'll select is purchase sale. And for the value, we'll choose use a different value for each conversion, but we'll just leave the default value at a dollar. Make sure that you select the correct currency that you want. So if it's US dollars, it always defaults to that. I think you've got GB pounds in there, Australian dollars, etc. So I'm just gonna change this to GB pounds for myself. We'll leave the count on every, as it's saying there is every is recommended for purchase where every conversion adds value. Example, if someone clicks your ad and makes three purchases, then AdWords will count three conversions, perfect. I'm gonna leave these last parts by default. Conversion window, 30 days. The view through conversion window, which is a bit more advanced for retargeting. We don't wanna include this in our conversion data in our AdWords campaigns, and we'll leave the attribution model as last click. So we'll create and continue. And once that's done, it will ask us what we want to do with this tag. Do we want to install this tag ourselves, email this tag to a developer or somebody else, or use Google Tag Manager? We're going to select install the tag yourself and then we'll have an option whether we want in html or amp html will be our language that we want this code to be in and then we'll get two snippets of code the first one will be a global tag so this part here so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to put this into this editor here and you can see in this editor i've already got a little bit of code that says if first time accessed and then end if now this code comes from Shopify. There's a document here and I'll link to this in the description. And what that code is, is on the thank you page, so the last part of the sale, which is a thank you page, that someone arrives on once they've completed their purchase, that page is also used for people to track the progress of their order. So if there's any tracking for the order, they'll come back to that page or they might refresh that page and that could trigger multiple conversions. So first of all, we can add this code for first time access into here to try and cut down the amount of double or triple conversions that are recorded with our code. So I've got the first time access there opening and closed and I'm gonna put that code from Google Ads in between there and then I'm gonna go back and get the second part because this is just a global tag. This is just the part that connects us to Google Ads and says, okay, this is coming from this account. But what is it from this account that we are recording? It's a conversion. So then we'll get an event snippet. So we'll copy that event snippet too, and we'll put that into my code editor. The reason I'm putting this into this code editor is just so I can show you what changes I'm making and just so you can see it in a larger font. Because when we paste this into Shopify, the font's a little bit small, especially on my screen resolution. So, okay, we've got our code in here. We've got a global tag, the first part here, and then we've got our event snippet for the conversion. We've got a default value of one great British pound, but we need to change this. We need to change that one there to be the correct variable from Shopify so that when we actually get to that thank you page or when our customers get to that thank you page, we'll record the exact amount of the sale. And then we also want this transaction ID. That will be the order number. And that is something that is unique to that order. No other sale, no other order will get the same order number or transaction ID, let's say. So this is something unique that will also stop those duplicate conversions. So I'm just gonna go off screen and copy those into here. I will also include these within the video description. The first one is the value. So we're gonna take that 1.0 out and 
I'm going to paste in the code that's required from Shopify. And you can see there it says total price, money without currency, and then remove with a comma in. So if we've got a value that's in thousands and it has a comma in there, we'll take that comma out. And then the next part for the transaction ID, if we paste that in there, we've got order dot order underscore number. And that will give us our exact order number from Shopify and we'll create a unique entry for this conversion within Google Ads. Once we've got all that information, I'll copy that and we'll go into Shopify. And we want to go into settings. Once in settings, we go to checkout. And if you scroll down within the checkout option, you'll get to this section called order processing. And then there'll be an additional script here. Now, if you have additional scripts in here, don't replace them. They may be coming from other apps or from other paid traffic sources that you're using. So make sure you add this either to the top or the bottom. So if you do have existing conversion tracking in here, if it's the old conversion tracking from the old interface, make sure you delete that from here and put the new conversion tracking in from the new experience. When I say new experience, I mean the new layout of Google Ads. And then also, if you've already got the new conversion tracking in, but you're getting those duplicates, try adding this if first time, and then make sure you put that order number into the transaction ID, and that will stop those from happening. So I'll paste that in there. I'll just get rid of those extra spaces and then save. And that's now added the Google Ads conversion tracking to your Shopify and no more of those double conversions. But that's it. So thanks for joining this video. Please like, please subscribe to my channel. And if there's anyone out there in the UK that wants to join in with my UK Facebook group, I'll also put the link down in the description too. It's open to anyone in the UK who wishes to get into e-commerce and dropshipping. But that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.